I just wanted to talk a bit about <clears throat> determinism and free will and causation and quantum mechanics. Uh, one of the things I wanted to say is that <clears throat> there's not even a possible contradiction between quantum theory and determinism. Uh, determinism is an ontological or metalogical theory that's about the nature of reality in general and how things behave. And if it were true, then quantum mechanics couldn't contradict it. They, we may not be able to you know, formulate a theory that is deterministic in our model, but that wouldn't change the fact that determinism would be true or false, just as the laws of logic would be true or false, regardless of, you know, the fact that any particular model doesn't take them into account or <clears throat> doesn't expressly convey them. As far as what determinism does mean, I want to quote The Dilemma of Determinism by uh, William James. He says, What does determinism profess? It professes that those parts of the universe already laid down absolutely a point and decree what the other parts shall be. The future has no ambiguous possibilities bidden in its womb. The part we call the present is compatible with only one totality. Any other future complement than the one fixed from eternity is impossible. The whole is in each and every part, and welds it with the rest into an absolute unity, an iron block, in which there can be no equivocation or shadow of turning. <clears throat> End quote. I also want to point out that that applies backwards in time, too. If everything that ever happens is necessary by what happened before, and everything that happened before is necessary by everything that will ever happen. Um, so, <clears throat> unlike, say, causation, determinism is time invariant. Determinism can be local deterministic, locally deterministic, which would be uh, what we get out of relativity mechanics, or it could be some sort of universal, you know, holistic determinism that, to use the quantum example, you know, there's, there's particles that go at every possible speed in every possible direction, and they all cancel each other out, so there's only the one, one thing that actually happens that's also deterministic. And there have been several attempts to make quantum theory into a deterministic model. Uh, Gerard Hooft is one guy who's done this. There have been several other attempts, hidden variables, and so forth. But I consider this kind of irrelevant. <clears throat> it's If determinism is false, it's going to be false because it's not logically true. It's not going to be false because of something you can check out in a laboratory. I mean, how could anything contradict determinism or indeterminism? It's not that kind of a theory. It's a, it's a metalogical theory and not a... Uh, scientific hypothesis. Okay. <clears throat> now, another thing that comes up is free will. And first of all, free will and determinism are not opposites, although determinism does exclude free will. Uh, your will can't be free if everything is necessary, which isn't to say you don't have a will. You, you can I think it's pretty obvious that we do have intentionality, but even from the framework of something like Austrian economics, what sense does it say to make, or what sense does it make to say that I did anything other than I wanted to? How could I have done anything other than what my specific knowledge and values in a particular point in time uh, would have had me do? It's it's impossible not to follow your value scales and ideas about means, you know. That's that's just necessary. Um, now, free will would therefore just be the opposite of unfree will, which determinism implies, or just will in general. And free will is just some sort of crazy magical nonsense. You are what you are. You are the machinery that makes you up. You are the the stuff or the you know warp dimensions with various probability fields going through them, whatever you want to call it. 
that's what you are. There's nothing to the human being or cats or anything else that has a some sort of transcendental will. Wouldn't even make sense as to how it would it would be you. I mean, how would it cause your body and various actions and so forth <clears throat> if it wasn't you know materialistic and part of uh, you? Well, how would you be you if you didn't do what you wanted to? I mean, isn't that part of your will doing what you want to? And the the references to quantum mechanics and indeterminism don't solve anything for this problem. And just Im just imagine, stipulate for a second, <clears throat> that the universe isn't deterministic, and things happen, you know, within some range of randomness. You know, that nothing is necessarily going to happen. There are just various probabilities for things happening. How does that? How does that give you any sort of freedom of will at all? It doesn't. It just makes your behavior arbitrary instead of necessary. It doesn't change the fact that you're just machinery operating. You're random machinery instead of clockwork machinery, but you're still machinery. Uh, stuff having, you know, no deterministic base does not make it somehow free. It's, I don't. I don't even get. I just. I just assume because people don't think about it. They're morons. Um, and uh, final note about causation. Causation is you know. A causes B, or A and B cause C. That is, I think that's useful, and it may be true to an extent uh, in that certain certain phenomena will produce certain other phenomena in certain circumstances, but I don't think that causation is necessarily implied in determinism. I don't think causation necessarily implies determinism. Um, you can have sort of arbitrary uh, probabilistic causation. You can also have deterministic causation. And you can also have a deterministic holism where it's no particular event caused any other particular event. It's just that taken all together, all the events were necessary to one another back and forth and, you know, in all complete refer frames of references. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. I consider this whole determinism debate to be irrelevant. It doesn't mean anything, doesn't establish anything, doesn't entail anything. It's just kind of a metaphysical point that, you know, if you don't want to believe the universe is deterministic, go ahead. I don't give a shit.